Hello my friends, today we are gonna complete our blog application. This is our home page. It's fetching data from MongoDB and displaying here. And when I click them, it's fetching a single post according to this post ID in the URL. And also I can fetch all posts by username or category name. It has a register and login system. After the login process, I can see this logout and write links and also my profile picture here. Let's create a post by clicking this link. I can choose picture, title, description and after creation, I can see edit and delete buttons. But if I go to some other user's post, I'm not allowed to edit or delete it. So in my post, let's edit. and delete and here if I click my profile I can change the profile picture or user information here and finally I can log out I think it's one of the most important projects to put your portfolio as a full stack web developer because it contains everything you need to know about man stack and if you didn't watch the previous videos, in the first part, we designed our React application. And in the second part, we created our REST API using Node.js and MongoDB. And finally, in this part, we are gonna use those API and design and create a complete blog application. So I hope you will enjoy it. I'm so excited to start. If you are ready, let's get started. So I'm gonna open my client site. So let's start our React application also. I will go to client and I will say yarn start. Okay, this is our block design. As you remember, we have done all of these components. And right now, in the home page, I'm gonna try to fetch our data from this database. Let's close them actually. So this is our home page. I will go to source folder and inside pages and home. Okay, so how I'm gonna fetch data? To do that, I'm gonna install Axios library here inside client and I will say yarn at Axios. You can use JavaScript fetch also, but I highly recommend you to use Axios, it's really useful. So here I'm gonna use use state hook and I'm gonna define my posts. I will say const posts and set posts. Let's create use state. And for initial state, it's gonna be an empty array because we haven't fetched any data yet. So let's fetch it. I will say use effect. And here I'm gonna indicate my empty array that means fire this use effect just at the beginning. So I can't fetch data directly here, saying Axios, because we are going to be using async function. So I'm going to create here a function. I will say const fetch posts. It's going to be async function. And here, what I will say, I will say Axios, and it's going to be get method. I should import this, okay, manually, import Axios from Axios. Okay, right now I'm gonna use my API, but how I'm gonna use this? So I will go to package.json and here, before ending, I will write here proxy and I'm gonna indicate my API URL, which is HTTP and localhost and what was our port number? 5000. And additionally, I'm gonna use here API, and that's all. Right now, our proxy is this URL, and I can use this inside Axios. So I'm gonna use posts URL, and it's gonna return us a response, const response, and of course it's await, it's async. So let's see what we have here. 
I will say console log and response. Okay, I will open my console and we can't see anything that because I didn't call this function. I will call here and let's try again. As you can see, we have an object here and inside we have data. This is our first post and this is second one. So I can use them. Right now I'm gonna delete this and instead of console log, I'm gonna set my posts. I will say response and data. Right now I can take these posts and I can pass this as props. Let's go to the posts component and inside I will take this prop so I can use them with array map. So I will say posts and map and for each post I'm gonna call this post component. So I can delete the rest and here brackets. Okay. Let's see right now. As you can see, there is only two posts. So how I'm gonna use these properties here? Right now I'm gonna pass this post. I will say post and it's gonna be P. So let's take this prop inside here, this post. I will say post and right now instead of post title, this lorem, I will delete this and I'm gonna write post.title. Let's see. Okay, they are here. So let's update others. I will say post.created at. If I do that, I can't see this date properly like this. So what I will do, I will cover this and I'm gonna say new date and I'm gonna say to date string. Let's see right now. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna update this description also. It's gonna be post.description and this image. But as you remember, we don't have any photo here. Let's write here a condition if post and this image. I'm gonna show this image and it's gonna be post and photo. Let's see. Okay, we don't have any image. So what about these categories? I will come here and let's delete this. I will say post.categories and I'm gonna use map again and for each category I'm gonna call this span and here I will delete this and I'm gonna write category.name we don't have any category and right now when I click this I wanna go to single post to do that I'm gonna use link let's come here and I'm gonna say link I should import this from React root or DOM. Let's do that. I will say import link from React root or DOM. Okay, we are gonna use just two. So I'm gonna use curly brackets and backtick and I will say post and I'm gonna use this ID. I will say post.id. So inside this link, I'm gonna use this span. Let's try right now. I'm clicking and as you can see, we are in the single page, single post, and this is our post ID. But there's a problem here. As you can see, they have custom style here. I will say class name and it's gonna be link. I'm clicking, perfect. So how I'm gonna fetch data according to this ID? Let's come here and inside single post. I'm gonna use another hook here. I will say const location and it's gonna be use location. 
and what we have here let's see i will say console log and this location i will open my console and as you can see we have an object and here we have a path here so i can take this post id so if i say split and i'm gonna split this string with the slashes so if i say slash it's gonna split this string into three pieces one of them before this slash second one this one and third one this id to take this id i'm gonna use second item because first one is zero one and two so let's see again i will save okay because we didn't use here i'm gonna write here path name let's see again as you can see we have this id so i can fetch this data using this id i'm gonna do the same thing let's delete this right here const path okay so i'm gonna use use effect again and i will say whenever this path changes fire this use effect and again i'm gonna create a function i will say const get post or fetch post whatever you say an async function i'm gonna create arrow function here and i'm gonna use axios again i will say const response and axios it's gonna be get method and inside i will say posts and i'm gonna use this id i will just say plus and path okay let's see what we have here again i will say console log and response and here i'm gonna call this function get post okay it returns promise because i didn't use await here here i will write await okay we have data as you can see this is our first post right now i can use this title description everything here to do that i'm gonna create here my post use state i will say const let's say post set post and it's gonna be use state hook and initial state will be empty object because we don't have any so i'm gonna update this post i will say set post it's gonna be response and data so i can use this post i will do the same thing if there is a post and photo i can use this image let's take this here and instead of this link i'm gonna use my post dot photo and here this is my title and author will be post dot username and again this date i will say new date and inside post dot created at and i will say to string and instead of this description i will cover this and description so let's see right now as you can see name title date and description perfect and we don't have any much so i can close here so i'm going to home page again and for this one for example as you can see from chain and test description perfect so what else i can do before login and register i can fetch these categories let's go to the sidebar and here i'm gonna delete them and i'm gonna use use state again const cat and set cats it's gonna be use state 
and initial state will be an empty array and I'm gonna use user effect and here it's gonna be empty array because we are gonna fire this at the beginning and I'm gonna say const get cats it's gonna be async function again and I'm gonna say const response and it's gonna be await axios get method and I'm gonna call my categories and after that I'm gonna update my categories I will say set cats it's gonna be response and data so let's call this function get cats okay Right now I can use this array. I will come here, call the brackets and cat. Actually, let's make this cats because it's an array. Okay. And I will say map and for each category. I'm gonna call this ally. And it's gonna be category.name. let's see as you can see we have only music perfect so i can do one more thing as you remember in our api let's open that and roots and posts as you remember we are fetching all, all posts by using nothing only with this url and also we can fetch this using query we have user and categories so for example inside this test if I click this it's gonna go to home page or we can say posts and question mark user will be John updated to so in this case we are gonna fetch all data but username should be John so let's go to the home page let's use location again I will say const location and it's gonna be use location I should import and again I want to show you one more thing I will say location so I will copy this and here I will paste here as you can see we have a search property here so I can use this user and John I can use this search so instead of writing like this, I'm just gonna take this search property. I can add this search here. I will say plus and search. In this case, I should add this search here as dependency. Save and see here. I will refresh. As you can see, we have only test here. If I delete this, We can see both of them if I go back and write here Jane right now it's from Jane Nelson so if I click here I will go to cat and music nothing is gonna change that because we are using this search it's gonna be not user it's gonna be category and it's gonna automatically fetch this data so I should give link for user because I can't click this for now so let's go to the single post and here I'm gonna add here a link I will say link let's cover this and here I will say two this time I'm gonna use backtick but first let's cover and here let's say home page and here I will say user equals post.username here dollar sign of course okay let's try as you can see it's link right now I will give class name it's gonna be link because if you remember in the previous lesson in the public folder we gave 
link class name here. Here, there is no text decoration, there is no color. Okay, let's see. I'm clicking and we are going to home page with user Jane. And this is Jane. I will go to home page again. I will click this. When I click this user, it's gonna fetch only John's post. Perfect. So I will do the same thing for categories. Let's go to the sidebar and here I'm gonna add link. Let's import this and here I will say to again. It's gonna be home page and my query is gonna be cat and it's gonna equals C dot name. Again, there is no style. Class name, it's gonna be link. I'm clicking. It's going to home page with category and music. And as you can see, there is no post because we don't have any post with category ID music. Okay. By the way, you can make it more fancier if you want. You can say if there is no response and data, if there is no post, you can write here 404 or there is no post, something like that. But I don't want to waste time. It's totally enough. Let's close this. Okay. So right now, I'm going to take care of this right and settings. But to do that, I should first register and login. So let's go to the register page. And here you can use context API, by the way, for this register, but it's not important for now because we are not going to store anything after this registration. We are going to store everything after login process. So I'm not going to use it here. I'm going to use after login. So what I will say, I'm going to say const and username, set username. It's going to be use state hook. And in the initial state, it's going to be empty string. Let's do the same thing for password and email. It's going to be capital. And here it's going to be a password. Okay, so how I'm going to change them. I will come here. And for this input, let's go to the register page. When I change this input, it's going to update this username and others also. So what I will do, if you remember previous projects, we also use useRef. But in this case, just let's use onChange. And for the login page, maybe we can use useRef. So you can understand both of them. So I will say onChange. So I will say event and I'm going to say set username it's gonna be event.target and value so whenever i change this input it's gonna automatically set update this username so let's copy this and for email it's gonna be set email and for here it's gonna be set password So right now I can register. I will write here type submit and in the form here I will say on submit. When we submit this form, it's gonna fire a function, let's say handle submit. So I'm gonna create this function. Const handle submit, it's gonna take E. And I'm gonna say e dot prevent default. So why I'm doing this? If I don't write here, prevent default. Let's try. When I submit, as you can see, it's refreshing this page. But I don't wanna do this. To prevent this, I will open this command and let's try again. As you can see, it's submitting, but it's not refreshing the page. 
perfect right now i can use axios and we can register so i can write here async function i can use here async because it's just a function it's not use effect so i will say const response and i'm gonna use axios and remember our api i'm gonna go to authentication off and here i'm gonna pass my user so i can write here object and username and email and password so let's see this response and then we are gonna use this I will open my console if I click this without writing anything promise again I forgot this await and by the way I forgot this register also so let's refresh and again not found we forgot this post I think yes it's gonna be a post method and finally again I will refresh and register as you can see we have an error here that because we didn't send anything let's write something llama at gmail.com one two three and I'm gonna register as you can see we have a data here status 200 and data it's gonna return this user if I click again it's not gonna register it's gonna send error again that because we can't use same username again and by the way as I mentioned before we didn't take care of this error handlings if you want to if you have time you can go to API and for every situation you can send another error here for example in this situation you can check whether there is same username inside DB or not and you can send another error you can say this username is in use or something like that it's not that hard if you understood everything so far i believe that you can use them okay by the way we forgot writing here try catch block let's complete them and here you can say catch and error and you can write here console log this error I will use again right now we can use this error so what I will do let's create here another use state it's gonna be error and set error and for initial state it's gonna be false and here I will say if there is an error set this error and it's gonna be true so if there is a response and data we can go to login page so how I'm gonna do this I will say window and location replace and I'm gonna use login page so in this case if we don't have any error and if we have any data which means we successfully register it's gonna redirect us to login page let's try let's write here something like I will register and as you can see we are in the login page so it works perfectly let's go to the register page again if I write here for example if we use same name and something we can use this error because we set this error as true so what I will do I can go to button and after this button I can say span and something went wrong as you can see I'm clicking by the way when I click this I don't want to see this anymore so let's come here and I will copy this and here before trying I will say set error false actually I can write this here after clicking button it's gonna be false so if there is an error it's gonna write again if there is no we are gonna go to login page so I can use this error 
I will say cover this and if there is an error use this path so right now I'm clicking it's disappeared and comes back again perfect maybe you can change this color you can give any class name but I just wanna change color color will be red okay maybe margin top I will say 10 pixels okay it's better I'm clicking it's coming back if I write something different we are going to login page perfect so right now I'm gonna use context API you can use Redux also or any other state management tools but it's a really small application we don't need any management tools we can use just context API so why we are using context API for example when we log in we are gonna have our user information so we are gonna use this user information in home page in this top bar when we click this right button we are gonna use this inside this right page that because it's gonna check whether we have user logged in user or not if there is no user it's gonna redirect us to register page and also we are gonna use inside settings page when we click the login or register it's gonna check again if there is logged in user or not if there is we are not allowed to reach this login and register pages so what I mean here we are gonna use this user almost every component every pages so if we come here this app jazz if I create here user use state and after login to use this in every component I should write here set user function and after login process come back here and check user and pass this user as props every component every pages and it's not the best practice we should prevent prop drilling and re-rendering every component each time when this user changes so what I'm gonna do is using context API so I will come here I will close this and pages I'm gonna create another folder here it's gonna be context and if you want to get more information about this context I tried to explain here but it was not deep you can go to the social media application project and you can watch this context part if you go to that video man stack app full course you can check here these sections as you can see how to use use context actions reducers everything is more detailed right now let's create our context reducer and actions I will say context.js and I'm gonna create reducer and one more is gonna be our actions so let's close them okay so I'm going to context jazz and here firstly I'm gonna create my initial state I will say const initial state and it's gonna be an object I'm gonna say user and it's gonna be null because when we visit page there will be no user without login process and here I will say it's fetching it's gonna be false and error there will be no error okay so after login process if everything is successful we are gonna update this initial state we are gonna have inside this user object our username our email and we are gonna reach this user inside any component any pages okay it's gonna be null and I'm gonna say export const context and it's gonna be create context of course we should import this let's copy this and here 
I will say const create context. By the way, we are gonna use use reducer also. And from React. Oops, why I said here const is gonna be import. Okay, so inside this context, I'm gonna pass my initial state. So how I'm gonna reach this user inside any component? I should create here context provider and wrap these all components inside this wrapper, this provider, and then we are gonna be able to reach this initial state. So what I will say here, again, export const, it's gonna be context provider. And here I will say children, and these children will be our all components here. You are gonna understand everything better right now. It can be a little bit complex here, but don't worry. So before writing here anything, let's come here and discuss about this. When I click this button, we are gonna have three main process. First, we are gonna start sending our username and password. It's gonna be username by the way, we are gonna change this. And after sending our credentials, we have two more actions. It can be successful or failure. If it's successful, we are gonna take response, which is our user information, our username, email, profile picture, everything. And after that, we are gonna update this state. It's not gonna be null anymore. It's gonna be our username, email, or whatever. So if it's failure, if there is no username or password is wrong, or there is something inside our server or MongoDB, it's gonna fail. And after that, it's gonna be null again. And this time, we are gonna change this error. It's gonna be true. So we are gonna take all these actions inside action.js. So let's write here. I'm gonna say here, export. And after, let's say const login start. Our first process. And to start this, I'm gonna take user credentials, username and password. Let's say user credentials. And after that, I'm going to write my type and payloads. That's our type. It's going to be our action name. So I will say login start. After starting, we are not going to return anything. We are going to just wait for successful or failure process. So let's write them. I will say export const login successful. So in this case, it's gonna return us our user, our information. Let's say here user. And after that, I will say type will be our action name, login success. So to update our state, I'm gonna use this user. I will say payload user. You're gonna understand better soon. So other process. Other possibility will be export const login failure. And right now we are not gonna take anything because it's just an error. And I will say type login failure. Let's change this. Okay, as you can see, I'm not taking any specific payload. We are just gonna update this as true. Okay. We have actions here, but how we are gonna dispatch them and update our state here? To do that, we are gonna use reducer. Let's come here and I will say const reducer or whatever you say. You can say login reducer, doesn't matter. So here I'm gonna write here state. We are gonna use this state soon and action. So here I'm gonna use switch case block. I'm gonna use all these possibilities. So first I'll say switch. It's like if as block, it's nothing complicated. So I will say action dot type, which is our type here. I will say if it's login start, that's right here case. So if it's login start, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna return new state. It's gonna be user null again, 
and is fetching will be true because we are going to start our process and when i click this for example we can add here some progress bar circle or something and after ending after successful or failure it's gonna stop fetching we will see here some error or we are gonna update our user and go to home page okay and in this case there will be no error because we are still fetching it's gonna be false again and that's all for now and for other cases let's copy this and paste twice it's warning us because we don't have any default case let's write this first i will say if default do nothing just return this state nothing will be changed okay so second one will be login success as you remember after login success process it's gonna return us a user so we are gonna use this payload so what i will say user will be not null anymore it's gonna be action.payload so after that i'm gonna stop fetching it's gonna be false because we finish our process here and error will be false and other case it's gonna be failure and in this case user will be null because we have some error here it's gonna be true and in this case we are not gonna fetch anymore we finish this process again okay so i should export this i will say export and default it's gonna be just reducer okay so i can use this actions and reducer i can dispatch them i will go to context jazz and here finally i can use my state and dispatch i will say const state and dispatch and i'm gonna take this from our reducer here to do that i'm gonna use use reducer here and here i will say my reducer as you can see we imported this okay but which state this reducer is gonna use it's gonna update this initial state so i'm gonna indicate here okay so i can use this context as provider what i will say here i will say return and it's gonna be context dot provider and here i can write these children you are gonna understand these children soon so here which values i'm gonna pass i will say value and it's gonna be our user which is our state and user and i'm gonna pass is fetching again state dot is fetching is fetching and finally i'm gonna pass my error state dot error so one more thing i'm gonna pass this dispatch because when i click this we are gonna dispatch start and according to our server we are gonna dispatch successful or error so we can use this context provider right now so i will copy this and i'm gonna come here you can use this inside app.js or index.js if you use this inside here all components inside application can reach this data this user fetching error everything so let's do that i will say context provider and here i'm gonna cover this app and i should import this okay this is our context right now we are able to reach our user and is fetching an error so how i'm gonna use this let's go to the login i will come here and login okay let's say i'm gonna change this email it's not gonna be email just username and text is okay enter your username okay let's write here type submit and for this form i will say on submit it's gonna be handle submit 
let's create this here const handle submit is gonna be e again and again e dot prevent default let's write here const let's say use the ref this time we are gonna use use ref hook i will say use ref and for the password and here i will copy this and inside this input i will say ref and i'm gonna indicate my reference and i will copy this and here this time it's gonna be password ref right now we don't have to write here own change or something we can use them directly here so what i will do here how i'm gonna use this this patch i can call this context and after we can take this dispatch or is fetching let's do that i will say const and inside i will say dispatch and is fetching and to call this context i can use use context and inside i'm gonna call my context here okay right now i can use them Firstly, I'm gonna use this dispatch. Let's write here, and it's gonna be our action type. I'll say type, and firstly, it's gonna be login start. When I click button, it's gonna call login start action, and it's gonna come here, and it's gonna update this is switching to true, and others will be the same. So after that, I can make my API call. I will say try and catch. it's gonna be error and here of course it should be async function because we are gonna make request to our api so what i will say here i will say const response as we did before i will call my axios and here post method so i will say authentication and login and i'm gonna pass my data what's my data my username and password let's write here username will be user ref and current and value and for password it's gonna be password ref current and value of course again await don't forget this so i will say if there is response which means it's successful so i can copy this and paste here it's going to be login success because we have response and data and one more thing as you remember we are taking here action and payload so what's this payload it's going to be our response and data i will say payload response and data so if there is an error it means it's failure so i will copy this and paste here I'm gonna delete this payload, we don't have any. So here it's gonna be login failure. Okay, so let's write here user and we can see our user because we are passing here, we can see this. So I will say here console log user. So let's see, I will open my console and here I will say Mike and one, two, three. As you can see, it's null because we don't have any user like that. So which user we have? Let's check here. My blog and users. Let's use this. I will write here and one, two, three and login. As you can see, we have a user. And we can see also is fetching here. Let's see, it's fetching. I will refresh. Why it's undefined? That because my typo. Let's copy this and write here. Let's see again. As you can see, it's false. I'm clicking true and false again because it's failure. If I write here correct one. One, two, three, 
true false it's successful after process it's gonna be false perfect so how i'm gonna use this user let's write here user again i'm refreshing as you can see it's still no that because we are not storing this anywhere inside this storage if i come here and say application and here as you can see we have local storage i'm gonna add my user here and even if i refresh the page we are gonna be able to use this user so how i'm gonna do that i will come here and inside i'm gonna say use effect and i will say whenever this state and user changes fire this use effect i'm gonna use local storage and i will say set item and here i'm gonna write my item name item key is gonna be user and here my value if i write here directly state and user it's not gonna work that because we should convert this to json file to do that i will copy this and write here json.stringify and here i can paste but it's not enough when i refresh page first i should fetch this user from local storage so what i will do i will say json.parse we change this as string here and this time we are gonna pass this to json so i will say local storage this time it's gonna be get item and my key so if there's a user inside this local storage it's gonna take this user if there is no user it's gonna be no let's try again i will refresh page as you can see our key and value it's null right now i will write this john here and one two three i will log in and as you can see it changed so if i go to console and if i refresh page as you can see it's still here perfect so i can use this user let's come here and delete this user we don't need this and this console log and i can use this is fetching by the way let's come here for this button this login button for example i will say make this disabled if is fetching let's see nothing is happening because we didn't give any style here let's go to the style and here this this is our button i will say if it's disabled i will say cursor not allowed or maybe i can change background color it was this color maybe i can make it coral and i'm gonna write here my username one two three i'm clicking as you can see it's disabled but this color is not changing that because it's border and it should be background okay it's strange maybe change this light coral but something like that okay it's better perfect so right now i can use this user let's close all of them and let's go to the app this time as you remember we created here a pseudo user right now it's not gonna be pseudo user we are gonna fetch this from our context i will say use context and it's gonna be our context okay as you can see even if we are in the login page we can't go this page because we have user awesome so i can use this inside this top bar also let's go to the top bar actually i will copy this and paste here let's import them
I will refresh. And right now, as you can see, we can see these pages. And instead, we have logout right now and our profile picture. Perfect. So let's do the same thing for logout. It's really easy if you understood everything. I will come to actions. And right now, we are not going to use start, success and failure because we are not going to fetch any data. We are not going to wait anything. We are just going to delete this user. So just let's copy this. And it's going to be just logout. And let's write here logout. Okay. So I will go to the reducer and here. Let's copy this and paste here. This time it's going to be logout. And user will be null again. And it's fetching false and error false. It's exactly the same position here. It's going to be null, false, false. It's going to be our initial state again. And it's going to automatically set this user to null because whenever this state user changes, it's going to be running. So let's try this. I will go to the top bar. And for this logout, I will say on click here. I will say handle logout. I will copy this and here const handle logout. By the way, I will import this dispatch here. And here I will say dispatch and type will be logout. Let's try. I will refresh here. As you can see, we have user. I will click and we don't have any more. Perfect. I will log in again. Actually, I will just change this. I don't want to write update. Okay. So I will write here just John, one, two, three and login we are here we have a user and i'm gonna log out perfect so i can change this image also let's log in again this is not our profile picture let's come here actually i will just copy this image and paste inside this John or without profile picture we can test first I'm gonna say user dot profile picture it was picture or shortcut I'm not sure let's check here models and user okay it's correct so let's see right now, as you can see, we don't have any. So I will paste this here and update. I should log out and log in again. One, two, three. And it's here again. Perfect. Right now I can go to the right section and here we can add some posts. So let's go to the right here. Let's close them first. And here, right and write JSX. Firstly, let's create here title, description, and file. I'm not going to use ref right now. Const title and set title is going to be use state. I'm trying to show everything to you. That's why I'm going to use state and ref at the same time. So for initial state, it's going to be empty. And for description, 
it's gonna be empty again and for the file I will say null there is no file I will say set file okay so what I'm gonna do I will come here and say type submit and for this form I will say on submit it's gonna be handle submit let's create this here I will say const handle submit it's gonna be event again I'm gonna prevent default e dot prevent default and after that I'm gonna use axios and post method why it's not importing this okay anyway I will say import axios from axios so which link I'm gonna use it's gonna be posts and main URL but before let's create here new post const new post and it's gonna be title and description and we need username by the way to do that let's take this user user and use context I'm gonna call my context here okay I will import this also context and context okay right now I can write here username will be user dot username okay comma perfect so I'm not gonna send this directly that because we can upload any image here so what I will say I will say if there is image there is file I'm gonna create here a data const data it's gonna be form data let's create a file name what I will say const file name and it should be some random number here you can use any UID or something but basic one basic idea is creating here a date and I will say now current moment and after that I will say file dot name because if we don't use this a user can upload same image different image with same name so I just wanna prevent this what I'm gonna add to this data I will say append and firstly it's gonna be name and it's gonna be file name oops it should be comma and one more thing I'm gonna add my file okay when I click here it's gonna take this file and it's gonna add file name perfect so in this case it's not gonna be only username title and description I'm gonna add also this file name so I will say new post and image it was not image it was photo and here I will say file name okay right now I can try and catch I will say try and catch I'm not gonna write anything here you can write console log but for user experience you can write some error here or something doesn't matter for now so what I will say I'm gonna say await of course it should be async first and here I will say axios.post and remember our URL it was API and upload and right now I can send this data and remember here let's come to index file and when we upload something we are using this URL and we are using file and here if you remember request body and name and our file and our name perfect so after uploading finally I can send this post here I will say new post 
of course it should be dry catch again await dry catch so after sending our post i want to go to single page so what i will say const response as you remember it's responding us to this new post so i will say window dot location and it's gonna be replace and i'm gonna write here my link it's gonna be single post and here i'm gonna write my post id it's gonna be response data dot id let's try i hope everything is okay i will refresh here i'm gonna choose this image and here by the way when i choose this image i can't see anything here what I will do first I will say if there is a file use this image I will cover this and this source will be it's not gonna be this image instead I'm gonna write curly brackets and inside I will say URL and create object URL and I'm gonna write here my file so basically it's gonna create a URL for this file and we are gonna able to see this here I will refresh there is no image here I will open and I'm gonna choose this okay we can't see anything because we didn't use input file here we didn't change this image here as you remember our file input so I will say on change so it's gonna set our file I will say e and set file it's gonna be e dot target dot files we are just uploading single file it's gonna be first one okay let's see again I will refresh and I'm gonna choose this image again as you can see it's here perfect so I'm gonna write here title my first story hello from react so I'm gonna publish okay please use new operator we didn't use it let's check here yeah we should create new one I will refresh I'm gonna choose hello from react I'm gonna publish okay here failed title and description required that because we forgot changing this title and description also let's come here and this is our file this is title I will say on change it's gonna be e and set title e dot target dot value so I will copy this and for this text area this time it's gonna be set description so let's try again this image from react let's write something and publish right now as you can see we are in the home page but there is a problem here because we are using this image address let's go to the post here and here I'm gonna say const public folder and it's gonna be localhost and 5000 and this image file here images so I should use this URL let's write here another slash and instead of this post and photo I will say public folder and plus this photo and to use this URL I should go to the index.js here inside our server and here what I will do I'm gonna go to my API CD API I'm gonna add another library here add and it's gonna be a path So right now 
I can make this images folder public. So how I'm gonna do this? Let's come here, maybe here I can write. I'm gonna say app.use and images. I can use this path. I will say express.static and I will say path.join and I will write here their name and I'm gonna indicate my URL. It's gonna be images. Oops, I wrote here user use path is not defined. I forgot importing here. I will say path. Let's see. Okay, everything looks good. And here I will refresh. So let's try actually here. I will say localhost 5000 and images and let's copy this image. Okay, I can see right now. So let's copy this and here inside post. Actually, we did this here. Yeah, okay, it's here. Perfect. So when I click this, I wanna see this here also. So I will copy this and inside single page. Where is our single post here? I'm gonna paste this here. And this time it's gonna be again public folder and plus post dot photo. As you can see, perfect. So when I click this button, I wanna delete my post. And by the way, if this post doesn't belong to me, I shouldn't see these buttons. So let's do this. I will say if post dot username equals user dot username we can see these edit buttons. But we don't have user here. Let's write. Maybe I can take this from right. Okay, let's import them. Okay. As you can see, I can still see it. By the way, if there is no user, I will put here question mark. If there is no user, it's not going to look at this username. So it's not going to be any error. Okay. So what I will do, I will come here, this trash, and I'm going to say on click. And I will say handle delete. And here I will say const handle delete. It's gonna be async function. So I will say await and axios. It's gonna be the late method. And I'm gonna choose my post URL and after that post ID. So what's my post ID? As you remember, we choose this here. And I will say plus this ID. Of course, it should be the right catch in any case. And after deleting, I wanna go to home page again. Let's copy this. And here, this time it's gonna be just home page. And by the way, to delete this, I should indicate my user ID or username. Let's check here. Posts and uh, for deleting. Okay, username. I'm gonna give my username here. It's gonna be user.username. Let's check right now. I will refresh. And I'm gonna click. Okay, there is an error, I think. It says not found. I forgot slash here, I think. And let's do this again. Okay, it's unauthorized. Let's see here, posts. 
with post.username equals body and username it looks okay but let's check this here I will refresh okay it's here username John my username John also so let's see this console log and user okay this is John okay let's write here post also and console here and this is John also interesting I will say post.username and equals user.username okay it's true so I'm gonna use backtick here maybe that's the problem I will say post and ID let's try again okay I can send this data directly because we are using the late method here it's not post method so I should write here data I will write here data and that's all I can delete this I will come here and delete as you can see we are in the home page okay so what else I can do okay it's not ours I will come here and create new one my story and I will publish right now I'm gonna try to update this text this title and description so what I will do here create new title and description I will say const title set title it's gonna be use state and initial state will be empty string and one more it's gonna be description so when I click this button I want to transform this page to update mode so what I will do I will create one more use state and I will say update mode and in the initial state it's gonna be false so let's go to the other button here what I will say I'm gonna say on click and I'm gonna create function and update my state I will say set update mode it's gonna be true so in this situation I'm gonna change here it's not gonna be h1 or it's not gonna be p tag it's gonna be input and text area so what I will do let's go to the title where is our title okay it's here so I'm gonna write here if it's update mode it's gonna be input here and I will say value will be post and title so if it's not update mode I can write this h1 tag I will take them and move after h1 okay let's see I'm clicking as you can see I will change this style of course but I will do the same thing for this story but first let's give this class name I will copy this and paste here title input okay so let's do the same thing for description I will say if it's update mode it's gonna be text area so if it's not it's gonna be this p tag let's copy this and here class name description input okay 
let's arrange them I will copy this and let's go to the CSS file here my title I will use them and here I will edit as you can see it's like that so if I do this it's not gonna work because it's not a text let's try okay it's just centering this so how I'm gonna center this input I will come here this wrapper if I say display flex and flex direction column yes. so it's gonna be autofocus so I will say autofocus I will refresh and edit okay perfect maybe I can get rid of this outline is input and when it's focus I will say outline not okay it's better maybe I can delete this border also and leave just bottom border I will say border non and border bottom like this and maybe gray light gray okay and I'm gonna change this color also it's really dark I will say color maybe gray let's try okay it's nice so I will do the same thing here let's go to the description and input I will say border none and here for this text area I will say value is gonna be post dot description okay and I will copy them okay it's better I think I will get rid of this outline also focus it's gonna be outline none okay perfect but if I do that as you can see I can't write anything because our value is title and description we can't change them so what I'm gonna do I will set this title and description it's gonna be response data and title and description right now I can use them for this title I will delete this and description and I will say on change it's gonna be function and I will set my description again e dot target dot value of course here is e and right now as you can see I can write so I will do the same thing for title this input it's gonna be set title I will refresh and edit okay so right now I can add here button let's come here let's try here where we are let's see okay it's here button and class name will be single post button single and I will say update so I will choose this and let's go to the CSS and here I will say border none and background color let's say teal padding 5 let's see first something like this I will give width here maybe a hundred okay I will say color white 
and border radius 5 pixels something like that I can give cursor pointer and I will say align self it's gonna be right side which is flex and okay perfect maybe some margin margin top 20 okay nice so when I click this I'm gonna update so let's come here and I'm gonna say on click it's gonna be handle update and here const handle update equals an arrow function it's gonna be async function again we are gonna update our post I can copy this and here this time it's not gonna be replace it's gonna be refresh sorry reload here okay this time I will use put and post my post ID user dot username and title will be my title here so I don't have to write this like that because as I mentioned before if they are exactly the same name you can delete them like this is enough and I will edit and update it let's update again unauthorized let's delete this data and update okay perfect but I wanna hide this update button because it's not in edit mode so what I will say let's come here and say my condition is if it's update mode I can see this okay let's test again I will say hey and my story again and update perfect actually I don't have to reload this page instead I can say set update mode it's gonna be false and of course it should be not post and title it should be title and description here let's try I will edit this and update perfect so I can delete this and we finished our writing page and we finished this single post page and we can update our user here we are gonna go to settings page let's close them and open top bar here by the way I'm gonna give cursor pointer for this user image I will say cursor pointer okay let's add here our settings page for this image what I'm gonna do I'm gonna add link and cover this image oops it should be here and I will say to settings okay let's go to the settings page and here I'm gonna change this image it's gonna be user and profile picture oops not use ref user okay we don't have user here let's delete this and here I will say const user I'm gonna use my context again I will say use context and my context as you can see our picture is here right now I'm gonna do the same thing let's close them and open right page I will just copy this file
I will copy here because we are going to update and paste here. Okay, let's import them. And those submit or update doesn't matter. So this time it's going to be updated user. Let's just say, no, I can say user because we are using here. So let's say updated user. Let's check our API here. Users and for update. Okay, as you can see, we are taking our user ID. So I will delete this and I will say user ID. It's going to be user dot ID. And I'm going to create what we have here, username, email and password. Let's create them. Username, email and password. It's going to be empty string and let's make them capital letter. Okay, this time I will say username, email and password. So if there is a file, I will do the same thing. I'm going to create new form data and I'm going to add my name and file name. And here I'm going to change this. This time it's going to be updated user and it's going to be profile picture. And here let's import this Axios. Import Axios from Axios. Okay. So it's going to be users it will be put here and and additionally I'm going to give my user ID because it's required here as params. So after that I'm going to give my updated user here. I don't want to redirect any other URL. Let's delete this. Okay, everything looks nice. And I'm going to update my states here. Firstly, if you remember what we are doing, I will choose this and paste here inside my file input. It's going to set our file and for username input, placeholder will be John. So let's choose this and write our user dot username. And for email, oops, just one. Okay, I'm not writing my password here. So let's set them on change. I'm going to take my E here and set username. It's going to be e.target.value. So let's copy this on change. I will do the same thing for email. Set email and set password here. Okay. And for this, I will say type submit. And for this form, I will say on submit. That was the name. Handle submit. Okay. So let's try. I will refresh the page. And here I will say John to another at gmail.com. One, two, three. I will say update. Nothing has changed. Let's check here. Okay, something is wrong. I will expand this and we can see better. Okay. We should add this option also. Let's go to the index file here. It can be some problems with this mongoose. 
so you can update here and true let's try again I will refresh jump to and another I'm gonna update okay something is wrong that because I forgot here slash so let's come here let's add here slash and try one more time and update right now it's 200 perfect let's check here I will refresh as you can see it works perfect so let's change this again but before I want to give some notification here let's write here updated successfully or something like that I will create another use state it's gonna be false in the initial state and I will say success So after updating this data, I will say set success and it's going to be true. So if it's true, I will come here and after this button, I will say if success right here as pen tag and it's going to be profile has been updated. Updated. And I will say style it's gonna be color green which will be string of course so let's try I will refresh here and I'm gonna say John and password let's say something and update if success oh I wrote this here it should be here again okay perfect maybe I can center this text align is gonna be center and maybe margin it's gonna be 20 pixels okay perfect so what we have done here let's check our home page our categories and posts let's check here for Jane I'm clicking here it's gonna fetch only Jane's posts like this if I come here as you can see I can see this edit and delete buttons because it's not my post if I come here and choose one of mine I can edit this hey we finished and update it works perfectly I can delete this home page again and I can update my profile and finally I can log out so everything works properly by the way I forgot updating profile picture let's write here my username this updated one but I forgot this password it was not one two three four okay I should create new one I think let's register I will say last user last at gmail.com and one two three last user one two three okay as you can see we don't have any by the way you can find any empty avatar you can add this inside these images and you can say if there is no image show this no avatar png something like that let's try i will choose this and when i choose this profile picture it should be updating here so okay it's here i will say 
if there is a file url and create object url and i'm gonna pass my file here so if it's not of course it should be question mark if it's not it's gonna be this profile picture let's see i will refresh so i'm gonna choose again this picture as you can see it's here so if i write here something else last test last test gmail.com okay gmail doesn't matter so i'm gonna update it's successful if i refresh we cannot see this here that because if i inspect and open my application as you can see after the login process our profile picture is empty so we should update this store so how i'm gonna do this let's come here this context these actions i will copy them and paste here it's gonna be update start success and failure and here also this time again we are gonna take credentials and when it's successful we are gonna pass this user as payload so let's go to the reducer so it's exactly the same thing nothing has changed so i will copy this and paste here it's gonna be update this time nothing will be changed so what i will say i will use spread operator and i will say state so nothing will be changed inside this state so here if it's successful i will update this user and by the way is switching will be true here is switching it's gonna be true So user and error will be the same and is switching will be true. Here if it's success we are gonna update this user, is switching and error is false. And in this case, if we can't update and user will be again same state dot user. Nothing will be changed and is switching will be false, error will be true. So let's come here, settings. Here, what I will say, I'm gonna use my dispatch here. So I'm gonna call my action at the beginning. Dispatch and type will be update start. So I will copy this and after successful, I'm gonna write here update success and my user will be this user so what i will do i will say const response and here payload will be this user payload is going to be response and data and in the other case it's going to be dispatch update error failure i will log in again last test one two three Here settings, I will choose image. I will say Michael maybe. Let's update. As you can see, they are still here. So if I refresh the page, okay they are here but this profile picture that because we are not using this public folder let's write here const public folder it's gonna be http localhost it's gonna be 5000 and images and here for this image 
it's not going to be user profile picture. It was working that because in John's profile, we are not using custom image. As you can see, we are using this URL. It's not working because we are using our custom URL. So what I will say, I will say public folder and plus this user profile picture. As you can see right now it's here. So even if I refresh the page, okay, perfect. And here also, let's go to the top bar. As you can see, we are using this directly. I will do the same thing, public folder plus this profile picture. And I will copy this. And paste here. Okay, perfect. So everything works properly. Of course, there will be some issues, some errors. It's not a complete tutorial, but I believe that you have learned all these basics. At least you can create your own API and you can use this API with React application. You can fetch data, post, delete, and after improving yourself, you can handle these errors and you can focus on maybe performance issues. So in the future, we are going to take care of them. We are going to use, use memo, use callback and advanced use ref and our React application will be on fire. It's going to be really fast. So we finished this project. Of course, you can enhance it, but you can do more. You can add an admin system maybe, or you can use context API for posts. But in my opinion, it's not needed. We are not sharing posts with many components. But if you want to, if you want to test yourself, of course you can use. And by the way, you are asking Redux in the comments. I see them. I'm planning to use Redux in the next big project because we are going to create an e-commerce application and it will be really important to use as store management tools there. So I'm not saying it will be next week, but we will create. Don't worry. <laughs> So that's all, don't forget to like the video and if you want to see more you can subscribe to the channel and also don't forget to follow social media accounts. Okay, I hope I will see you in the next tutorial, goodbye.